Hey, what's up, folks? Ernicus here with Wicked Awesome Gifts. And uh, first and foremost, I'm getting better. I'm not as sick today. And I have a shave and a haircut. So I don't look like such a wildebeest. I watched back my video I did the other day, and man, <laughs> it looked rough. All right, so this is going to be another one of the short videos for the tips and tricks kind of thing. Let's see if we don't get too much light behind us. <clears throat> um, I've been seeing a lot of posts with people, especially with uh, anodized aluminum, coming out kind of gray and dingy or yellow. Um, same applies to some of the leather, the leatherette. Not as sharp or as good as it could be. Um, the colored, colored leatherette from JDS, like the black silver or the rustic gold, um, the gold and the silver not quite popping through as it should. Well, I got a trick to show you. I've been, um, talking about it in our, uh, Facebook group. And if you don't know about that, I'll put a link in the description below. When I process the video, um, we're running about 2,500 members now. So it's growing a lot since I started it. So it's pretty cool. Um, <clears throat> anyway, uh, I post in there a lot of times and I say, focus up an eighth inch of off the material to me in my head. That makes sense, right? Cause I do it all the time, but I got to remember for some people who don't do it all the time, uh, may not make sense. So I want to demonstrate that a little bit today. It sounds very self-explanatory. I know, but you know, everybody learns differently. So, but here's an example of these little keychains, right? This is one I did a couple months ago. I don't know if the light's going to cooperate with us. But as we can see, that one is a little dingy. Right? If it's even focusing, I don't know. I can't tell. And here's another one that I did. These are these were throwaways. Um, but I kept them for... Uh, I don't even know why I kept them. But they're not terrible. But they're, they're a little dingy. Um... <clears throat> A little bit yellow, maybe not. Man, I did this a minute ago and it looked great. I don't know if it's coming out. But anyway, they're not as bright as they could be. And um, these two were of a batch of, I think on the jig I did like 15 at a time. Like two or three would come out perfect and the rest were just weird and different. And not consistent and that was one of the things was the inconsistency of it especially if you're using a jig you want to be able to lay down 15 20 of them and do them all and have them all look the same right so i'm going to show you how to get them to come out looking like that like mama bear that one shows up great on the camera probably because it's done properly um yeah see this one not so much doesn't want to show. We put Mama Bear in there upside down and she's bright white and showing. So, other than your settings being correct, <clears throat> now the settings are going to be different for everybody. I could tell you that I run them at 8700 speed at 50 power, but that may not mean anything to you. On my old laser module, I ran them at like 1500 speed at 100 power. Of course, as we know now, that laser module was broken. So, um, the settings are going to be different for everyone. Find out what the settings are for your laser. But I just had a conversation with a guy. He messaged me. He said, man, I got those same keychains. Here's my settings. Um, and that's that's when I will talk about settings, guys, is if you tell me what settings you're using and what results you're getting, I can help you tweak from there. But just to say, hey, what are your settings? And I give you mine. <clears throat> that's not going to help you. So... He gave me his settings. I'm like, oh, it's kind of slow. You shouldn't have to hit it that hard, but whatever. It should still work. And um, I said, are you focusing an eighth inch up off the material? He's like, no. I said, yeah, try that. Um, and he didn't quite understand what I mean. And then I finally showed him the picture. And uh, he's like, oh, okay. Uh, I wrote back, you know, half hour, hour later. Dude, look at this. And he showed me his thing. And it was bright, a lot better. So, um I can't take credit for this trick. This is a trick I learned actually from JDS. Uh, they give a lot of tips and tricks on their website and some of the um, information they gave on their laser bull leatherette, especially the black, silver, rustic gold. <clears throat> I was not getting consistent results with that. And 
um, they recommend focusing up an eighth inch off of the material. And I did that and holy shit, <laughs> it was amazing. Not only was it nice and bright like it should be, but the consistency was there. All of the pieces were the same. So that is pretty cool. So I applied that methodology to these keychains and some other anodized aluminum things that I have, and it worked great. I haven't done on the wallets yet because I, I ran out. I got to order some more, but same. It's going to be the same. I have the business card, same thing. So um, I've even went so far as to start doing this on my tumblers, uh, the last batch of tumblers I did. <clears throat> Hold on a minute. Yep. It's a test cup. Uh, we all got them, don't we? <laughs> I got one of every color. Uh, they're still drinkable. So, um, yeah, I do it on my tumblers now too. And it's amazing because even the tumblers, the variants of material in the tumblers, um, I don't have... <clears throat> all right, so it looks flat, right? And... You get your needle coming down, pretend that's your focus deal. You think it's flat, but believe it or not, some of these are dented. Weird, huh? Some of them are just a little bit uneven. Some of them, you might think you have it level, but you really don't. A lot of different things. So doing the focus trick is going to help with that. Um, I don't know if you guys know this, but you can pull your laser focus way out and it's still going to engrave well it's still going to be sharp and on some wood projects it's actually going to come out a little bit darker that's an old trick to do for making your engraving a little bit darker <clears throat> take it out of focus a little bit but when we hear the word out of focus it doesn't mean blurry all right if you still need your finite lines yeah you go ahead and drop it back down when i cut i still focus normally when i do cutting but anyway i'm on a tangent so sometimes the material is not level is not <clears throat> Even when it's level, there still might be some variance in, in the uh, pitting or whatever, especially textured material like the leatherette. So um, focusing to that material dead on is not the way to go anymore, in my opinion. This is just me and my experience. I'm just getting so much better results. And there, look, this one's nice and pretty, right? I focused up one eighth inch off of that look it's beautiful so you know and it's consistent it's the same and that's what we're going for because i don't know if you've done it but i've done it sometimes the s might be perfectly clean and then down here the p and the l might have residue on it and you think in your head what the hell same settings same power same speed everything all the letters should be the same but the focal length was probably a little bit different on the p and l right so if you pull back and don't focus on it as much, now you're got a more even playing field. <clears throat> so um, I'm gonna run over to the laser, and we'll. I got some. I got some blanks that I gotta do. We'll do another mama bear. I got a feeling those might sell well this weekend. So we'll go do one of those, and um, uh, <clears throat> Let's turn it on. Right, let's set you down here a minute. Um, I'm going to go ahead and turn you around. Why are you blinking? There's plenty of power. All right. That is the wall. Let me hook you guys up on the frame here. Give me a minute. Come on, little claw grips. Work with me. Move the old camera thing down, 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 down. All right. You'll notice I don't have my jig on there. My uh, my laser is actually broken again right now. <clears throat> it broke the other day. The limit switch uh, broke off on it. So I'm just going to do everything manually for now. I got to use XCS because I can turn off the limit switches. So I'm not going to bother showing the computer because I hate that damn program anyway but um we're gonna do a keychain it only takes like a minute and a half to engrave one of these keychains so we'll just set this up manually so when you, we throw her down she's pretty level 
um, I've noticed the difference between the little deal where the keychain goes and the back side is about the same thickness as a slide rule. So I'll put that there just to raise it up, make it a little more level. <clears throat> now sometimes I'll throw the magnets down if I'm going to do a couple of them just to hold it in place. That way I can just take one out, put one in, and not have to mess with it, right? But what we're doing right now, I don't really care about all that. So let me get the file ready here. <clears throat> Our laser even on. What are we doing? All right, now we're on. Uh, file new. No, we don't want to save it. Image. Uh, projects. Mother's Day. Son of a bitch. I don't have that picture there. All right, I'm going to pause the video for a minute so you're not sitting here just staring at the thing. Uh, be right back. Okay. Hi. We're back. Uh, when you gather up a lot of files over time sometimes it's not quick to find them so apparently I did not put that file back where I thought I did so there you go all right um is that in the right spot I can't see let me zoom in on this thing I don't know all right so I'm gonna turn on the laser dot so I can get this lined up fan's going to turn on and it's a little loud. Actually, I'm a dumbass. Um, before I even want to start lining it up, uh, let's do the focus thing. So, I don't know, can you guys see? I need light. Um, <clears throat> I use this as a little, uh, piece of one eighth inch wood that I, uh, scrap that I cut out from one of my jigs. So I save this. It's perfect for what I'm doing now. Uh, basically I take the one eighth piece of material, either wood or acrylic, whatever, it doesn't matter. Put it on top of the material. And that's what I mean when I tell you guys focus one eighth inch up. So we put the little lever down, bring her down. And it doesn't fit. <laughs> Stupid. Hold on, let me take... I did something last night that I needed to raise the platform. So I've got blocks under the legs. So now it won't fit. <clears throat> Every time I want to just do a nice little quick video, it turns out to be a long video. And not quick at all. This shit we go through to do this stuff, I tell you. Alright, so now we're back to normal level. Let me get all this extra wood out of the way. Those are my little raising blocks for when I have to raise the machine up. Alright, so anyway, there's our key tag. There's our little piece of wood, one eighth inch up. We flick the little lever down. Drop focus down on it so that the needle touches the wood. Shit, throw the camera around because why not? Bring it back up and there we go. So now we're focused not on the material but one eighth inch up off the material. So now let's go ahead and Fix this stupid camera. Really? Why today? Just fucking hold still. Jesus. Damn, it's always something. I'll tell you what.
All right, that's about as straight as I'm going to get this today. So now that we got our focus height, let me go ahead and square it up real quick. It's going to get noisy. That's about center. We'll see. Let's go ahead and frame it. When you do these key tags enough, you'll be able to eyeball it. Sometimes. I'm not always off, but I'm close. Alright. We don't have the proper center. There we go. Now we put it in the center. A little bit high. So we come down a little bit. Bit more. Now this is not normally how I do things. I'm just doing this to do a quick engraving and also because my damn thing broke. So we are using XCS and I can't use my jig, blah blah blah. Alright, there we go. That's good enough for government work. Let's we'll see how this comes out. <clears throat> Let's zoom you in a little bit more. There we go. <laughs> and the damn thing falls over. Ugh. Good times. Son of a bitch. Alright. Now I gotta reline it up. Because I moved the fucking frame. So, yeah. One of these days when I get a real workbench. I will mount this friggin' thing to the thing so it doesn't move. The reason the camera's giving me so much trouble. Because the little leg was stuck underneath the frame. From when I was uh, taking out that... Um, Piece. Actually, let's move this up up here so I can put the camera down here and we'll see if that can give a better a better picture of the process, maybe. Hey, that's nice and close, right? There we go. We'll see how that works. Now, let me <coughs> redo it. trouble with my depth perception it's always about a millimeter too high and I eyeball it that ah, looks good enough for now
There we go. Easy peasy. Let's take a look at her. Trying not to get the glare on it, but cute. Doesn't get much better than that. So, I mean, <clears throat> the little focus trick works. Let's get more daylight. Get out the window here. Yeah. Nice and bright. It's not yellow. It's all even. There you go. Took a minute and a half. Ah, whoa, unzoom. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so it took a minute and a half, and it's nice and bright and white. Um, five bucks for a minute and a half worth of work. So I would highly recommend you guys that are doing anodized aluminum or um, leather it. Even your tumblers, just focus up eighth of an inch off the, uh, and I hit the button. Cool. So yeah, focus up an eighth of an inch off of the uh, material, and uh, you get nice, nice little pretty keychains. Adorable. All right. Anyway, I had to go back to work and do some stuff and things. So I just want to take a quick break, let my mind take a break off of my. Uh, SQL programming for my job and do a little cleaning and do that video for you so don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, that way you can get notified about any more videos that I do and um, I'll try to be doing out some more if you guys got anything you want to um, learn about talk about see on the video let me know just put it in the description and I'll make a note to do it when I can take it easy guys bye Hey, I'm back real quick. Um, I guess the lighting over there wasn't good, but uh, I looked at these things closer, and well, I tell you, I don't know what the deal is, but this top one, this mama bear one, that's really white and bright. The one we just did is not bad. Um, I mean, it's really good. It's what should be expected. But when I compared it to the mama bear, I don't think the camera's picking it up either. But I was like, man, now it's scratched. <laughs> it's on the floor. But uh, it was so much brighter. And I'm like, maybe it was the file. So I went back and uh, just did another one real quick. And um, it came out good. Uh, it's not going to focus uh, it's not bad it's not yellow it's not dingy but it's not as white as the other one I'm like man so I did another one and I slowed it down I did um, 6900 at 50 percent instead of 8700 and it came out the same really um, the only difference between the two other than time because I did it three days ago uh, is I use light burn on the other one and this one I'm doing with XCS so when I get my limit switch back operational and I go back to using light burn I'm definitely gonna do this again with the file that I had saved from the other one and I'm gonna see if I get that same bright white and I'll update you guys in the comments and let you know because as of now I just did three they're good they're passable they're sellable they're nice but they're not as white as that first mama bear tag. So I'm curious if that was a fluke, if I just got an exceptionally good piece of metal that day, I don't know. Or um, if this is a difference between light burn and XCS, I don't know. So stay tuned to the comments and I will update you um, probably next week when I get the laser fixed and get light burn running again. So just wanted to add that in there. So take it easy, later.